and welcome from Mulheim an der Ruhr in Germany. This is very close to Dusseldorf and I've combined a visit to Dusseldorf Caravan Salon with a visit to this dealership. There are three main dealers for Ahorn Motorhomes. Uh, one Spire at the headquarters of the company, the second is in Frankfurt and the third one is here. Incidentally, where well, there's a, many other motorhome dealerships as well, there's possibly more motorhome places to see in this one street than any other street that I know of. That I know of, I, I know in the United States there's uh, also uh, one, one place where there's lots. But anyway, uh, I'm here in Germany, I'm going to show you the range of vehicles from Ahorn and I'm going to start off with this one here which is a six person van it's called the Echo 660 it's used currently as a rental model uh, but uh, you can of course um, buy it as well so it's used here as a rental model it's just come back from the trade fair as have all the vehicles and as they've just come back Please bear in mind that in some, there may be some stuff that shouldn't be in there because they use it for transporting. And uh, so, such as these cushions uh, on, the, on this bed that probably belong to a different van. This is a six person van, as I think I said. Two burners here, sensible square shaped sink with a domestic drain in here side uh, side toilet unfortunately that's only got one uh, drain hole in the in the shower fridge down here Now this will convert into a bed, giving two places at the back, two there, and two up front. All of these vans, oh no, not all of them, nearly all of them, <laughs> some of them are, most of these, 237 centimetres in width, some are 234, I'll tell you when I get to 234. And uh, this one here is 660 centimetres in length, and sleep six. All right, and this one here, has got this rather large uh, wardrobe as well. All of them are on the Renault Master, and uh, the reason they're on the Renault Master, uh, well, I suppose because they did a deal with Renault, but that is, it, that's a, it's the only uh, mainline, I would say, motorhome manufacturer that actually does that this is the echo 683 it's another six person van it's uh, under seven meters in length and it's it, there's a little bit uh, more space in this one than there was in the one before largely due to the washroom in this position And uh, I've got bunk beds at the back. One of these bunk beds will come out. Oh, sorry, I think they both come out, to be honest. Uh, yeah, they will they both come out. If you want more space, you only want four people in the back. But I mean, you can make, can make five, for example. Take, t I'll take this thing, yeah. Five, five people. And then you get space there for bikes and things. And here, yeah. A lot of storage there. Sensible squ square shaped uh, sink, I think it's the last, the last one we're in. Plenty of space up here, and this is the same. And you've got lots and lots of storage down here as well. See where the boiler is. A 
So in should you need access to it, you can get into it reasonably easily. There's the gas, uh, sorry, here we go. That's what you turn the gas on with. Where's the fridge, you may be saying? Well, it's down here. There's the fridge. Unfortunately, the fridge can't be used as the, uh, the bed's in use. Another feature is that this here will go up. Oh, as the, as the ladder's on it, I'm not going to push it up all the way. Uh, I've only got two two hands. C contrary to popular belief, I only have two hands. I think I said the price, all of these are around 43, 45,000, but you might start wanting other things added on. So that's gonna put the price up. We have here a six meter van, uh, the Achorn 595, which is 234 centimeters in width, if memory serves me correctly. There, you only get four in this one, there's two beds up there. The dinette does not convert into a bed. Oh, well, having said that, you could you could you could actually put that thing down. It will it will go down. Whether you want to sleep on it is uh, is something else. Four in the back. Uh, I would definitely put well a net up there and up there. I don't quite know how I'd do it, but I would do it. Right in here. What a job. I'm becoming more convinced the idea of the overcab. Now, whereas it does have the problem of using more fuel, if you're thinking of uh, you know, uh, miles per gallon or uh, kilometers, sorry, how many, how many liters are to 100 kilometers, then uh, you're not buying a, a vehicle for the right reason. Uh, so the uh, the roof, the floor, and the walls are from uh, reinforced polyester. Sometimes I use the German word when I say that. So 590 plus another six meter van, 234 centimeters in length. This is a two-person van, unless you have the option of this bed up here, and that'll make it a four-person van. A toilet is rather unusual. Step up there, well, obviously that's still for the, for the uh, the shower, so we can put a bit of water in there as well. You see, you sort of sit in the water. I mean, it's not quite a bath, of course, but it's only going to get the water about 10 centimeters. But hey, that's nothing. You only do that on the campsite, of course, because normally water's at a premium. You can't. It's one thing. One thing I miss is sort of the ability to take a bath. Oh, I get the chance. Uh, I really do. I do. I really do appreciate it, particularly after a hard day's cycling to sort of sit in the bath and scrub your feet clean. Anyway, so there's a hint for anybody. Uh, you can see where I am uh, when I'm passing through people's areas, because I normally put this up on, on, the, uh, on the internet. And um, uh, see so yeah. you. Anyway, good, so you can invite me around. Uh, I, I do like the, it's rather, the attractive colour of the uh, the lockers. And... Right, I'll show you how the bed comes down in a different video. Right, so let's uh, let's move on. Oh, did I show? I didn't show this. Um, Ahorn's got its own um, control panel as well.
590 plus this is a 690 plus so it's just under seven meters Now what's unusual here, you've got this German layout, uh, you've got uh, a, um, a cushion that will fit in here, make this the bed, there is a bit of a, a, bit of a gap here, but uh, you've got this enormous uh, bed here and you can sort of close yourself in should you so, so desire. And the storage in the uh, floor down there. as well as all around and here you can get into the garage here's the board you know the board will fit in here to make the what I term the German layout Drop down bed's an option. If you don't want it, the van's cheaper. This one here, 590 plus, it says they're from 41,800. Note the word from because uh, that's a rather important word. This thing here, by the time you finish, is going to cost 51289 because it's got these extra things on it. The most expensive is a Renault chassis packet and a, a driver climate control. You've got the bed that comes, drop down bed. You've got the uh, reversing camera and uh, so it's an oh, and three meter awning, uh, 690. So um, also a design a design packet as well. So uh, so that you might want the design pack out, but the design pack. But anyway, right. So uh, so that's where these costs are. There's the uh, one and a half thousand euro plus drop down bed. There's the uh, side bed, which comes with it. Steps come out to give you, like, allow you to get into the bed. Puma iNet, and I mentioned this actually earlier, this, this thing here has been brought out for this year, the control panel, which, uh, well it's a design thing, you might think it looks okay, you might not, whatever. <laughs> so you can check on the electrical and water situation in, in your van. And finally, we'll come onto this one here which is I'll show you if I'll come new face edition it's called but uh, I want to actually show you this sorry I'll come here it's the 2020 
uh, model. Uh, this is used as a rental model, uh, so it's now available at that price, 58,149. So I'm going to actually take you through. So the starting price, 42,900. Uh, but you've got a rental packet, uh, and you've got the design packet as another electrical bed, uh, new new face edition. You see, you've got special uh, paint work. You've got alu hubs. You've got a, a window in the roof and you've got fog lamps so that's all included so you've got um, braking assistance you've got led outer lighting uh, navigation pack uh, with uh, maps of europe look at the price 1900 um reversing camera three and a half meter awning and you've got uh, the, the truma gas filter of 100 euros uh, okay maybe that's that's fair enough truma brought out this gas filter um for years ago, I think it was, and that was because they said, "Oh, I can get places where the gas is dodgy." Uh, I don't actually use a gas filter, and I've been filling up in uh, cheap places in Poland. I've never had a problem, but 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 hey, I, I don't think I've had a problem. Maybe maybe I've got one. I just don't know about it. But uh, so anyway, I suppose if you've got an expensive uh, bit of kit uh, inside. Uh, such as an auto, one of these more expensive or um, refillable things, then uh, yeah, 99 euros for a gas filter is better than doing a 600 euro kit, in in my opinion. So, 2020 mod, the other ones are the 2021. So, So if you're interested in this brand and you would like to see uh, more videos, then I've got plenty more on my on my site. There you go, new face edition. Well, it's really now the old face edition because that's from 20, 2020. Oh, as is this one here. <laughs> so I said the others were from 2021. Sorry, got that one wrong. Never mind. Mm. Good. So there you have the Ahorn range here, part two, because I showed uh, in an earlier film the Alaska and Canada range, which is a bit slightly better, um, slightly more luxurious. I say slightly, because these ones are quite nice as well. But uh, there they are. They've also got a bicycle, electric bike, bicycle now that goes with them. But everybody seems to be doing these sort of foldable electric bikes. So there's the Canada. So I uh, hope you found that uh, of interest and uh, I'm going to try and bring more vans as always so thanks very much for watching and all the best from Germany